Don't start thinking because you guys broke up or they broke up with you that there's something wrong with you. Uh-uh. Way of life as cute. Even in hunted. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be about how to get over your ex. Astaghfirullah, why do you even have a girlfriend in the first place? Before we get started in this video, I need you to smash this video with a huge thumbs up and need you to subscribe to this channel as well. Before I can give you tips on how to get over your ex, we first have to break down why do you miss them in the first place. Break it down, SQ! Here's what's actually happening in your mind. Your brain and your body is releasing happy chemicals such as dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. The purpose of these chemicals are designed to make you feel happy. So when you're in that relationship, your brain sometimes is releasing all four of these at the same time. So all those days, weeks, months, and years that you're with this person, this is what's happening in your mind and your brain all the time. So when you're on that phone call and when you're going out together, all those things are happening, your brain is emitting these chemicals right here and your body basically becomes a crackhead. You become a drug addict for happiness. And ever since you broke up with them, your body and your mind is no longer producing these chemicals right here. Hence, your body is going through withdrawal mode. The same way that a recovering drug addict is having withdrawals in where they get the shivers, they lose their appetite, and they no longer feel good about their days, you yourself experience all these same feelings and symptoms because your body is going through withdrawal. You miss this person because your body is no longer able to produce at that rate those chemicals that are listed over here. That's the real reason you miss your ex and you can't get over them. Bring it up! No, don't ever say that again. I I'm so sorry. Yeah, you said that last time, man. I'm on to you, buddy. I can't help it. I want to give you three concrete tips on how to get over your ex. Get out your pen and paper and take some notes. The first thing you have to remember is that you have to remove and eliminate all and any hope that you will ever get back together. But SQ, what if I make a lot of dua? Nope. But SQ, what if I'm making a lot of istikhara for this? Sorry. But SQ, what if this is part of my maktub and my destiny? I'm supposed to do this so that we can get back together. Ain't happening. Because you end up having hope to get back with a person who you're not aligned with, you lose out on all the potential opportunities to meet someone that you actually might get along with. So along comes a nice person that genuinely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending them in your life. And they will be good for your deen, your dunya, your akhirah, but you're not going to even look at them twice because you're still caught up in hopes to get back with someone who wants nothing to do with you. Lose all hope in ever getting back with them. It's time for you to move on from them. You can no longer think and have any glimpse of hope to think that you guys are going to get back together because when you do that, you stop looking at prospects that Allah is genuinely sending in your life because you're caught up looking at your past. And guess what? You're going to become desperate and you're going to end up settling for someone who's not even worth your time or standards. Second tip, please stop thinking that there's something wrong with you. Don't start thinking because you guys broke up or they broke up with you that there's something wrong with you. Uh-uh. Because it didn't work out, understand that this is part of the plan of Allah and it's their loss. You're an incredible human being and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pulled someone who was not good for your deen, your dunya, and your akhirah. Stop blaming yourself. Stop thinking that it was your fault. It was actually their loss. Third step to get over your ex, take this time to heal. The fact that you're in pain, the fact that you're hurt shows that you're not healed. It's a sign that you're hurt and you're in pain and you have to recover before moving on. We often think that getting ourselves in another relationship will heal us from the inside, but all it does is really complicate your own feelings. It prevents you from getting healed and it hinders your growth and stops you from becoming a better person. The worst thing you could possibly do is get into another relationship thinking that that's going to heal you. In fact, it only makes you one thing that nobody ever wants and that's a rebound when you're on the rebound you make the worst possible decisions that you'll ever make in your life but i really just want to feel loved what you're lacking is self-love you need to love yourself through this pain you need to tell yourself and validate these feelings that listen it's okay to feel pain it's okay to be hurt it's okay to miss them but what's not okay is to beat yourself up what's not okay is thinking that you're a failure what's not okay is thinking that it's all your fault you have to love yourself through through this pain and process. You have to love yourself through all your own imperfections. That's how you start developing self-love. Well, that was the video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Tell me in the comment section below, what was some of your major takeaways? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. If you benefited and enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash this video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. And until next time, I'm out. I'm feeling good waking up today. Got to say thanks to Allah for giving me